Today on the Thousand Food Family, we are trying to farsi all grass wall. You're right, and what is that? Cabbage with a meatball inside it. What? There's some Cabbage Patch Kids. Uh, it's too wet. It's getting all wet on my head. So who remembers trying the Savoy cabbage? No. You don't remember when we had Savoy cabbage? Nope. Mm. Alright, so we've got our cabbage parboiling in some simmering water for 15 minutes. That's how we're going to start this recipe. That cabbage is parboiling. What do you got there, Nicole? Well, this is some Swiss chard. I am just removing the tough stems. We're going to parboil this, squeeze it out. It's big leafy green here, and then I'm going to chop it. Those giant leaves turned into what? This is the squeeze. It's like when you get those frozen spinaches. That's so much spinach in it. Crazy. So we got the inside. You're supposed to cut out the core without detaching all the others. All right. So then we're gonna we slice this and we use this for a part of the dish. Yeah, we're gonna mix all the other ingredients. Let's show our viewers. All right. So here is our ingredients for the core. This is the chopped cabbage, some dried herb mix, this is chopped pork, rice, garlic, tomatoes, onion, that's the chard, bacon, and a little bit of butter. All right, let's mix it in a bowl. Just all in, mix it around, that's it? Yeah. Okay. We're mixing this all around. I haven't put the butter in yet, but I guess I should. I don't really know how cold butter is going to do in this. Just gonna mix it in. Come on, get in there. Mix it around. Mm -hmm. Gotta Let me stir do it ones. all together. That does not look like a meatball. Yeah. Well, normally a meatball has like binders, like egg, and then you would, but it's gonna be all squeezed into the cheesecloth, right? Squeeze. So we are, we are not, we don't have salt and pepper. I wonder if we should add some salt and pepper. That's probably yeah, a good idea. That's a suggestion of nutmeg as well. Okay, we have some nutmeg. Keep squeezing it. Wow, the core. <laughs> the building. Is that fun? Kind of. I'm not sure how much to add. There's a lot of uh, mixture here, but... Some cabbage heads are bigger than others, I believe is probably true. And what's that sitting on, a cheesecloth? It is sitting on a cheesecloth. Okay, well, we sure didn't use all the mixture. S several. Maybe American cabbages are just smaller than the French ones. But it did, I mean, it filled it nicely. This is about as big as the cabbage looked before, you know, you parboil it because it just kind of loses its crispness. So that seems pretty good to me. Pretty impressed with it, actually. And then there's some interesting suggestions about, like, what did it say? Using a needle and thread. I think I'm just going to try to gather it up into a little... Like, I really don't know, but tie it together, right? So we've tied it off into a bun. Nicole has gotten inspired by her hairdo. <laughs> a little bit of resemblance. So we're going in the pot and we're going to cover that with some bouillon. Bouillon. Okay, it's been around four hours and we're just about ready to take this little package out. Looks like that. Yeah, you do. So just imagine a green planet. The lettuce is that. And then the meatballs is the planet's core. 
Mm. Right? I can't do that. Don't do that. I can't do that. Everywhere. I forgot about that fact that it was very juicy. All the juice out of there. Do I smell soup? Here we go. Opening an alien brain. It does feel a the little bit. The inside of okay. an alien's brain. Or ours. In our brain. Daddy, look. There is a meatball. In our brain, we have a meatball just sitting there. It's cutting really nice. It gets holding together. Serving it like pie. Well, I don't know. There was no... Serving a brain like pie. So you had to take some out, right? And then... Just serve it. Put it on to... No, uh, salt. Accompany it with a little bit of the juices. Ah, it's spinning it! <laughs> pretty good. Now we had like just chopped pork versus I think if you used like a ground pork it might be more of a meatball. This is more of kind of a, I don't know, like a pie. Back. Back. It looks like Instead a of a crust you got cabbage. Brain. It's, it's very hot. Stab the brain. On my meal, on his meal. What is this? It looks like the, the inside brain looks like a brain. Mm. Let's see what you think. Yummy. What does it taste like? I can feel the steak. You taste the meat. Is it good flavor? Yeah. All right. I see bacon. Bacon bite. Ah. <laughs> There's bacon on it. Mm-hmm. Ah. Ah. Stop falling off my fork. Ah! Pretty good. What is it? What do you like about it? What do you not like? <laughs> that it, I don't like about it that it feels like I'm eat. It looks like I'm opening up a brain and eating it. What I like about it is I can really taste that bacon in it. The green part? Yeah. That's called cabbage. Let me taste if it if it's good or not. Your eyes are wide, it's got to be good. If your eyes are wide, it's always good. <laughs> when we had the Savoy cabbage before, Miles really liked it. No, no, Mom, I kind of like it from the cabbage thing. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> Outside of a brain. Hmm. Mom, put them on the face. It's got no taste at all. <laughs> I thought it was very good. I thought the meat was very tender. Um, this, the flavors were pretty simple, but it was a good dish. And I'm kind of noticing that a lot of times when we do these recipes, we ha have a lot left over because we have a pretty small family with the little ones. But this is all that's left and I could have probably easily eaten another 
another um, helping. So it was good. Well, I really liked it. Um, I really like cabbage dishes, I think. Maybe it's the Irish in me, but I felt this was a hearty, like a soup-like almost dish with uh, sauce on it, but really good flavors with the pork and all the fixings inside. Um, I think you might be interesting to taste it if it was uh, ground pork, so it was more of a meatball with kind of a loaf in there, but yeah, really good. Oh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. How about you, Elliot? Kids gonna like it? Uh, uh, half, half of the world might like it, half of it might not. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time, right? Bye-bye. <laughs>